Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie and I'm the organic esthetician. I'm very excited about today's video. It's much anticipated. I'm going to be sharing my 12 week Lima laser results with all of you. So I'll have a photo from November 14th and one from February 14th so that you can see is the Lima laser worth it and does it transform your skin? If you're new to the channel, my name is Katie. I'm a licensed esthetician here in California, and I focus on clean beauty and anti-aging modality. I love all the gizmos and gadgets. I offer electrical facials in my studios in the Napa Valley and Los Angeles. And here on YouTube, I explain the modalities behind some of these at-home devices so that you can better understand what it is they actually do. So you can pick the device that's right for you. If this interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Before we jump into these photos, I'd like to do a quick overview of the Lima laser for anyone new to the channel, new to the device, or hasn't watched my other two Lima laser videos. So the Lima laser is a cold laser that uses low level light therapy. This is not necessarily an LED light device in the traditional sense. This is a different modality entirely. Traditionally, cold lasers are used on the body to promote healing, manage pain, and healing ligaments, bones, and other types of soft tissue. Lima has harnessed the power of cold laser and put it in a handheld geared for the face. The Lima laser can be used on all skin types and can address almost every skin concern from pigmentation, to fine lines and wrinkles, skin laxity, breakouts, you name it, it can treat it. There's no downtime. It can offer a very gentle warmth when you glide it on your skin. Other than that, you won't feel it at all. And you can use your Lima every day. In fact, you have to. To see optimal results with your Lima laser, you must use this device daily for 12 weeks. That's around 90 days of continual use with your Lima laser. I honestly think that's the hardest part of the whole thing, but we'll loop back to that a little bit later. Each individual daily treatment will range from 15 minutes to 60 minutes. Six zero. If you are just trying to maintain optimal health, 15 minutes should suffice. If you are trying to correct some major signs of aging, whether it's pigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, or laxity or sagging of the skin, then you're going to want to use your device for that full 60 minute treatment. While the Lima comes with an oxygenating mist and a glide gel, you can use your Lima with any product you might already have at home and love. You just want to make sure that you're not using your Lima over anything photosensitizing, such as alpha hydroxy acids or retinols. I find that it works especially well over a facial oil, and that is how I like to use it. A question I get asked quite often is, can I use my Lima if I'm using the Zip Halo? And the answer is yes. I like using my Zip first. I leave my conductivity gel on. I love the crystal gel because it's an organic conductivity gel. And then I use my Lima laser right over the top. The gel gives really nice slip. You'll see that in a clip later in this video. Another question I get asked quite often is, which one's better, the Nira laser? or the Lima laser. So I thought I would just address this really quickly. The Nira laser is a non-ablative, non-fractional laser, which means that it creates uniform thermal damage in the dermis, kind of bypassing the epidermis. There's sensation, there's heat, you're creating change through damage. Not to say that that's a bad thing, but it is just apples and oranges in comparison to the Lima laser, which uses low level light therapy. Two completely different modalities, despite the fact that both have the word laser in their name. When I get asked, is one better than the other? I think the big takeaway is that they are just two very different modalities. So I filmed a quick little clip this morning when I was doing my Lima treatment and I thought that I would just share with you how I like to use the Lima at home. Okay so normally I kind of just hold in this spot. This is like a target area for me. I'll do my three minute hold here. I might glide out to get a little drainage and just kind of smooth out this area. And then I come up here and I'll do a little hold here and the nasolabial fold. 
just to soften this. Maybe I'll kind of do some glides up, getting a little upward movement in that cheek too. This isn't necessarily going to be lifting, but facial massage can be really beneficial even without modality. Okay, and then from here, I might come and hold under the eye to help with puffiness and darkness and then drain it out. And then I'll come and do a hold right here just to help with those 11 lines. Another way I like to use this device is to drain. So I keep it in contact with the skin my entire treatment, but my pressure is on the downward movement. So I'm draining, not a lot of pressure, but just a little bit, and then kind of gliding back up. But this allows for more time on the skin as opposed to lifting and placing, right? Because with the Lima, it's all about time on the skin. Even just this, I can already feel the need to swallow. And then coming in under here and draining down. And then working my way up the face. And you can kind of carve as you glide a little bit. And then up under the eye again. I just did a zip halo treatment and I left my um, crystal gel on and I'm just doing my Lima right over the top of my zip gel. All right, and then I repeat it on the other side. Okay, so here they are, my before and after photos. What I have learned through this process is that I absolutely hate looking at my face in a before and after photo. It might be the bane of my existence. So be nice in the comments. The results are subtle, but I see a shift under my eyes, at my nasal labial folds, around my mouth a little bit. But what I really notice is that the texture of my skin looks different. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later, but there definitely is a shift. I feel like over the three months that I've been using the Lima, I still have broken out, although I will say that I heal significantly faster. The Lima is fantastic at addressing any sort of inflammation, redness, sensitivity, breakouts, you know, just skin funkiness. The Lima really helps with that. When I was in LA last month, I got a lot of compliments on my skin and I was kind of shocked. <laughs> I felt like, oh, this old thing, you know, when you see something daily, your perception is different than seeing someone for the first time or not seeing someone for months. So I thought that was interesting. The comments that everyone made were more about the luminosity of my skin, the evenness of my skin, the brightness of my skin. I got a lot of like snow white comments, just more than normal where it was noticeable. I honestly didn't think that my results were that dramatic just from looking at my face every day. And it wasn't until I put these photos side by side. Uh, these photos are different. So pro tip, if you are going to get a Lima and commit to 90 days of consistent use, make sure you take photos before and after so that you can compare them. Because judging your results based off of just looking at your skin every day isn't always a good indication of change. So I will say that in the three months that I've been using my Lima, I have not done any other LED light therapy or radio frequency. I've done a handful of zip treatments. I use microcurrent regularly, always, no matter what I'm doing. So I feel like that's my baseline. I really haven't had time for anything else. When I started this off, I had the ambitious goal of treating my chest, neck, and face. And that quickly just 
did not happen. I had the intention of then just shifting and only working on my chest, but I am vain and I feel like I can cover my chest and I really just can't cover my face. So when I sat down to use my Lima every night, I ended up using it on my face. The areas I use it most are on this lower half of my face and under my eyes. And again, I do really like drainage with the device. I use it almost like I would a gua sha. I also do holds, which I find is the easiest way to use it, right? Super mindless. Just hold it on whatever area of concern for about three minutes. Sometimes I held it for a lot longer because I would lose track of time. I will say that it's incredibly easy to use. I just find that doing anything every day, even if it's just for three months, is really challenging for me. And the last month was the hardest. Um, I think I lost my momentum a little bit. The reality of having two studios and traveling back and forth kind of hit me. I was just so deeply tired that I definitely missed a couple treatments during that last month. Now that I've reached my three month mark, I can use it two to three times a week for maintenance. And so that seems way more manageable for me and I'm looking forward to it. So what do you guys think? Can you see a difference in my skin? Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know if you think the Lima laser is worth it. Okay, everyone, thank you all so much for watching and thank you, Lima, for sponsoring these videos, for gifting me my device and for helping me improve the texture of my skin. I have a link to the Lima laser down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe. All right, everyone, I will see you all really soon. Bye.